Romeo. I need you to explain everything. How do you even get Rain's phone? I thought the police had it. Keep it down. She had two phones. Somehow, Hunter got the second one. I heard it ringing in his jacket, so I took it. I figured the only reason he had it is that there was proof that Prince was the killer. And? It was actually the opposite. There was a video showing Rain was alive when he left her. Prince didn't kill her. So why'd you smash it? Because if that video got out, the finger would be pointed right back at us. Your dad told me to get rid of it, so I did, OK? I chucked it in a bin lorry. What about Prince? James says his case is so weak, he can clear his name without it. That puts us all in the clear, right? Yeah. The only problem's Hunter. He's not letting it go. Let's get out of here quick, before he can find us. Please, man, don't give up on Rain's phone. It's my ticket out of this nightmare, man. Everything's right on it. I need you. Hey, babe. What's wrong? Is Prince OK? Yeah, he's great. Might be locked up for manslaughter, but he's getting some good reading time in. Like, do you want to take this out on me, or do you want to tell me what's up? I'm sorry. I've messed up. I had Rain's phone. What? I had Rain's phone that night, and I'm pretty sure there's something on there that proves Prince is innocent, but I lost it. I've lost the phone. Right, untalk. Calm down. Talk to me. But where did you lose it? I'm pretty sure that Perry took it when I wasn't looking. Why? Maybe she knows something. Maybe she's got something to do with it. What are you doing? I'm going to go and slap it out of her meaty paws, obviously. No, don't do that. I've already tried it, and she just denies it. I need to play it smart. I need to get to slip up. Here you go. Thank you. Ah, oh, what are you saying then? Uh, Romeo found a little cabin up north. Looks that cute. We're just gonna unplug, get away from everything. Cannot wait. Oh, hey. You're all here. You all right? Uh, honestly, I'm a little lonely and a lot scared. I visited Prince again, and suddenly it hit me. He's not coming back for Christmas. I don't know why I didn't think of it until now. Don't need to tell you guys. It's your first Christmas without Juliet as well. Listen, I am really sorry about yesterday. I just don't know which way's up at the minute. Anyways, I figured what I needed is to let loose with my friends, the people that I do still have around. Gotta appreciate what you've got, right? So, who's gonna have a Christmas drink with me? Actually, we just... Uh, uh, we're... We can stay for a drink. I'll get the glasses. Don't forget about me, did you? Any soft drinks in there? As if I could ever forget about you. <laughs> Juliet. To Juliet. To Juliet. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> you all right? Yeah, just a bit hungry, so shouldn't really have had that. Do you want some snacks or something? I'm gonna get them, do I? <laughs> so, how is Prince doing? Not good. The worst part of it's not his concrete cell or the slop that they're feeding him. He says the worst part's just being powerless. That his freedom is in the hands of the gods and there's nothing he can do about it. It's a hopelessness that's killing him. Thanks. You know what I think the worst part is? It's the lies. Even if Prince did it, and he sure didn't, but someone, one of us, is lying. For you? I'm just saying. Everyone's saying that they've got an alibi, but that's not true. We've got the letter to prove it. Someone knows who the killer is. Yeah, but that could be a lie too. Like I said, just want to know the truth. 
I need some air. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine, just... just need a minute. Why don't we get out of here? If I was gonna say anything to Liz and Adira, you would've done it by now. Okay, just... give me a sec, yeah? Pull yourself together, Perry. That's what you'd say, wouldn't you? I don't know how I ended up here, Jules. I mean, just one thing led to another, and I never feel like I've let you down. I hate having to keep secrets, but I have to, or everything falls apart. 